Hello and welcome to this James Bike Eye where today we're getting a chance to take a look at specialized most entry level 29er mountain bike. The mountain bike that somebody might choose to get into riding, to get off roading, or even just a rugged bike to get around with. That's right, in this video we're checking out the Specialized Rock Hopper. This is the base model and we're going to go over all the features and designs, talk about the value proposition which has definitely changed as well as finding out exactly what it weighs. If that kind of thing is interesting to you, hit subscribe and follow along with me. So jumping into the Specialized Rock Hopper. Now this is a long held nameplate in the world of mountain bikes and has been a storied bike for Specialized. In their lineup, the Rock Hopper has been around for quite some time and it came in after their first and original Stump Jumper mountain bike. Now, of course, over time, there were different models of mountain bikes and the Rock Hopper itself is now in Specialized lineup as their beginner mountain bike. Now, Rock Hoppers range from this model, which is the base level, all the way up to Rock Hopper Pro that comes with some pretty high-end componentry on the more basic frame. So it does give you some range to be able to upgrade over time and that confidence that if you buy into a basic beginner mountain bike, you're getting a frame that could support some nicer parts as well. But with all that said, this bike is a carryover for 2023. And in layman's terms or simple narrative, that means that this bike was identical in 2022. So in 2022, same exact color, same part spec, all that good stuff. But now Specialized has continued it into 2023 and they've slashed the price. Now this bike itself was selling for $650, which is a fairly substantial price for a beginner bike. And in that, while it was still a great, nice bike to have, the 650 price is now $499. And at $500, in my opinion, it totally changes the value proposition of this bike. So for that $499, you're getting an aluminum frame, which they call their A1 butted aluminum, which simplistically, that means that the tubing here is gonna be thick and thin. The wall thickness is gonna vary butted to set up the bike for either ride quality or save some weight. So they might use some straight stock tubing in some places, but then say on the top tube, have it thinner in the middle and thicker at the welding joints for strength and durability. But then they feature internal cable routing on this bike. So you can see all the cables kind of run in and down through the bike, which is nice to see, keeps a nice clean aesthetic to it. It does have an inch and an eighth head tube. This is a place where I do wish it had a tapered headset with a larger lower bearing. That would have allowed for some more fork options as you upgrade. But alas, it does come with 100 millimeters of front suspension. And that 100 millimeters of front suspension is connecting a 29 inch wheel to the ground. So the Specialized Rock Hopper does come in two flavors. So the base model comes in a 27 and a half and a 29er. The version we have here is the 29er and I do have a video linked in the description below to the 27.5 that I took about a year or so ago. Well, anyways, going on from that, this bike has a two by eight speed drivetrain. And what that means is up front, you're gonna have a small and a large ring. These two ring sizes basically allow the front derailleur to shift between the two, have a high and a low gear, and then that is powered through the back through this micro shift mezzo rear derailleur and a eight speed drivetrain. So the eight speed drivetrain is a cassette and a cassette means that Basically, the mechanism for that ratchet noise that we're hearing there, that's built into the hub rather than the gears in back. And why you, you care about that is effectively a cassette system is much more durable, much more replaceable than say a freewheel that you would see on some lower spec bikes. While we're back here, I should mention, we do have access to rack mounts. So you've got rack mounts hidden up top 
and down low so you could use this as a rugged commuter. I think I had mentioned that before because sometimes with a rock hopper or beginner mountain bike like this, it'll do some dual duty of both trail riding but also commuting. Now Specialized has a model called the Cirrus X which is a dual sport style hybrid with a little bit thinner tire and those rack and fender capabilities but up front it doesn't feature the same true front suspension like this rock hopper does. And so that's going to be one of the big differences between say this and that Cirrus X as well as the capability to run these 2.35 inch wide tires which is quite a bit larger than that Cirrus X. Now up front the fork to get that 100 millimeters of suspension travel is an SR Suntour XCE and so the XCE is a coil spring fork without a damper and you can adjust the preload up and down which is effectively compressing the spring mechanism to be able to make the front end firmer off the top or a little bit softer. Now that sort of compression does not lock out the fork meaning there's no way to turn the fork on and off. That's something you get in the higher level spec versions of the Specialized Rock Hopper but makes for a fairly simple fork to run with only about five or so percent adjustment through that preload. Now cockpit wise, I do like to see that the cockpit has an all alloy setup. So your handlebar is alloy. It runs a 31.8 bar clamp, which is a nice modern larger size. Some of the steel handlebars that you'll see on other brands or lower bikes, those will have a 25.4 or 26.0 bar clamp. So this is just larger, stronger, runs an aluminum bar, nice and wide for a good attack position on the bike. So you have good control. And then you have a nice stubby stout stem. The braking system on the bike is a mechanically operated disc brake system with 160 millimeter rotors on the front and the rear connected up to the frame with some quick release skewers. Now those skewers attach six bolt hubs and these wide aluminum wheels that have stainless steel spokes and brass nipples for a pretty durable connection. And with all those specs and features, it's time to find out what this bike weighs. And the actual weight of the Specialized Rock Hopper 29 in a size large comes in and weighs 32.43 pounds.